and we're on to the third day of our exercises. So today we will be taking a look at creating a brick falling from a shelf onto the ground. Now for something like this, it would be best to have a reference of an actual brick falling from a shelf, you know, and then use that to create your animation. But we don't have that luxury. So we'll just jump right into Synfig and see what we can come up with using the little knowledge that we have and our Im imagination. So I'm just going to add a ground plane here and I'm not going to be too worried about what my shelf or my brick will look like. I'm just going to add some basic shapes here. So let's say this right here is my shelf. Let me move this over a bit. I'm just going to change the color so that we can see that a bit more. So that is my shelf. Let me go ahead and rename that shelf. And my brick will be a simple rectangle. All right, I'm not going to make it three dimensional because that's more complicated to animate. So we're going to make it flat. And let me change this color to an actual brick color. I think it's some orangish color like so, or brownish orange. Okay, so we have our brick and I'm going to put that inside of a group and I'm going to rename the, the group to brick. And I'm going to move the pivot or the origin point to the base of my brick here because this is where I want it to rotate from and I'm just going to move my brick onto my shelf. Now for this setup I'm going to have a piece of my brick coming off of the shelf so that way you know it would be easier to lean over and get off the shelf like that. I'm going to use the spline tool to to aid me in my animation here. Um, let me just move all of this up for a bit because it's way too close to the ground. Let me move this up. Okay. Well, actually I can just move the ground plane down like this. And that is looking fine. Let me move back my brick down to, onto my shelf there. And I'm going to go to my spline tool here and I'm just going to create the trajectory where I want the brick to, to fall. So here's the starting point. Here's the end point enter and I'm going to attach the brick onto the spline to make my life much easier here. So we are definitely cheating here. So I'm going to select the point, the origin point on the brick layer, right click on the spline layer and click a link to spline. And then my brick is linked to my spline. So now we can just have it move down the line like so, but I'm going to go ahead here and add a point here and create somewhat of a curve like this. So I don't want it to be too straight. So that is looking fine and we can all we can always adjust it if we need to. Okay, so here's the part that we won't be cheating on. We will be changing our keyframes to the constant keyframes. So we're I'm going to do this manually, uh, even though it's already attached to the spline here. Uh, let me turn on animate and let's begin to animate. Now I want to have a, oh, let me go to my keys here and remove this initial keyframe. Um, I definitely do not like that keyframe and you guys should know that by now. It did nothing to me, but I hate that keyframe. So I'm going to always delete it and, and re-add a keyframe. Okay. So I'm going to add a keyframe for my origin point here and one for my rotation point, because we know that we'll definitely be moving the, the brick as well as rotating it. Um, although I'm, I'm not sure if we want the brick to rotate around while it's coming down before it, hit, it hits the ground, um, like a full rotation, but maybe like a half rotation or something like that. We have all our keyframes here. So what we can do is just to duplicate this and just move it down. All right. And I'm not worried about uh, whether I'm anim animating on ones or twos here. I'm just going to um, move down my timeline and just put the keyframes in any random position because we can always go back and move them. It's not the best way to animate, but it's the most fun way to animate. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what we want to do here is to have the brick, um, sort of eases out or eases in, I keep on, um, interchanging the two. So it eases out slowly before it begins to fall. The most important part here is that it hits the ground with an impact because we know that we have to take into consideration how heavy is this object. And we know that a brick is relatively heavy, so it will hit the ground very hard. So we need to pay special attention to that. So let me go ahead and start here. So I'm just going to 
for my second keyframe here, I'm just going to rotate the cube slightly there, like so. And we can always go back and forth to see what that looks like. And that is looking okay so far. I'm just going to move down my timeline a bit here and rotate a bit more. Just slightly. We can also turn on our onion skin here um, to see where we are. You know, now th this onion tool still needs some refinement, but it can help us somewhat. So let me go back and forth and see what that looks like. Okay. All right. So that is looking okay. Let me turn off onion skin. It's not much help here. So I just do this by eye. Okay. So as you can see, it's slowly easing out into that movement. And right here, I'm going to have it rotate even more and begin to move like so. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so that is looking fine. All right, so once it begins to fall there, right, it's heavy, so it should be coming down here and I'm going to just, I'm not going to rotate it this way because I don't want it to actually rotate around too much. I want it to hit the ground on this side. Although that's just a, I guess, a stylistic choice, you could choose to rotate your your um, brick. All right, so it's looking like it's moving rather slow there. Let me pre-render this. Yeah, so when it gets to there, it's sort of moving very slow. So bam, bam. So I'm go just gonna come back to this frame here and move this down a bit like so, and then come here and then move it down even further. So it, it moves faster. Like that. All right, I'm liking that. And I'm just gonna move down and move this down, move down, move this down. I'm gonna go back and uh, alter the rotation here because remember, I don't want it to rotate too much here. Maybe slightly. Let me come back here. decrease the rotation there and uh, yeah definitely decrease the rotation there so we have this going on let me actually pre-render and see what that looks like all right so it's feeling very slow all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to these keyframes here and on this one I'm gonna move it down a bit further and this one, I'm gonna move it down a bit further like that. And this one, definitely gonna move it down a bit further, like so. And I'm gonna make this one on, um, on this frame, the final one, and it's gonna hit the ground like this, boom. So it's gonna hit it very hard here, All right? And remember, this is the most important part. Make it simulate that, uh, to make you feel that heaviness of the brick. So let me go ahead and replay this. Hmm, let me replay that. Okay, it's still moving slow. So we'll have to go back and adjust it, but that is okay because we know that in animating, we'll have to make changes from time to time. Let me actually just play this back a few times to make sure that I'm seeing this accurately. All right, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna move this, these frames closer together. Remember, the closer frames are together, the faster the movement. So I'm just gonna move this because we did not plan the movement here. Well, we did not plan where we wanted to um, place the, the frames, the, the keyframes. So let me just move those back. And there we have it. It's moving faster. Okay, so I can, I'm going to go ahead and do some adjustments here. So, bam, bam, bam. I think I'm going to have this be up here a bit more, like so. And this one up a bit more. Let me play that back and see what that looks like. Hmm. A 
okay I mean it's looking okay it's looking okay I mean we could work with this or we could make it have more of an impact so we could come let me see now bam 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 like it's there then it's there it's the ground so I'm gonna just have this rotate a bit like so and maybe come off the ground a bit like that before going back to this uh, frame here so let me see what that looks like so it shakes a bit boom and we can make this hit even harder by putting the the frames closer together so when it moves from here could even move this closer like so and then let me move these closer let's take a look at what we have so play mm, yeah that's feeling much much harder like boom boom so yeah I think I'm gonna leave it at this because it's, look, it's looking okay to me and because we did it this way please know that you can go in onto your spline tool here and you can actually alter the spline and of course the brick will follow the spline okay you might not want to do something like that but you know it's there just in case so that's one of the beauties of um, doing it this way and again there are multiple ways that you can animate here in Synfig but because this is practice we want to um, stay as close to traditional practices as possible you know I, I say this while I attach the, the, the brick to the, <laughs> the spline but you know what I mean okay so I'm just gonna work on this and see what I can come up with and I'm just going to show you my results and here is my result so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and that's it for this video and I will see you on day four